I know this fucking bicycle didn't fucking run me over. Like, that's what I'm thinking. Did it actually like, go over and keep riding? No, I didn't do that. No, but like, listen. So, this whole time, all I saw was the wheel. I didn't see, I didn't see the rest of the bike. I didn't see the dude on the bike. I didn't see none of that. All I, all I, I saw. Like, <laughs> all, all I saw. you know niggas can say they bike tires off. They keep fucking on the stove. They bike. All I, all I saw was the wheel, and I felt like a, a impact. But like upon like the first impact, like I didn't in my mind, I'm thinking I'm gonna eat that shit. I'm not gonna fall down. Like I'm good. At, I mean, and it, it, it hurt a little bit. He hit me a little hard. I ain't gonna fall. That shit was like I took thought. I took one step, two step, and I thought I'm good. I'm gonna just gather myself real quick, nigga. You fell in the puddle. That momentum. Say <laughs> shit, nigga. You about to? <laughs> 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 nigga. <laughs> One step, Ooh. one step, I was fine. Second step, stagger, I was fine. That third step, nigga, my shit buckled. Oh my god! And I fell. I, I like. <laughs> that, it's like it's, <laughs> so it's <laughs> instinctually like you felt like shit. I put my I put my left hand out to like brace my fall, and I just kept falling. <laughs> And like I'm like oh was like no nope. and like nope. mid mid like fall I'm like yo I'm about to go to the ground on this <laughs> like, oh, you have done you hear me now though <laughs> listen because <laughs> downtown dirt is because downtown dirt is different from fucking regular street dirt like that should be extra dirty so <laughs> so, like old penny gum. so my hand hit the ground. And like the rest of my fucking, my hand hit my left arm hit the ground, then my fucking shoulder, my right, my left shoulder hit the ground, oh, and then like my fucking, my fucking right knee hit the ground. That was skin, good, there's some skin missing off of it. Did you roll? And yo, I think I did <laughs> because <laughs> this nigga was on the ground like Peter. Because, because, because so I had to, I had to have roll because like if you envision like getting off of the bus. And then the bike hitting me on my right side. When I when I looked up, I could see the bus again. <laughs> so, so, but you're not so, I don't know. Like, you like, can't make me. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, So I get up. Well, first of all, my beats flew off. My headphones flew off. And my phone, somehow it disconnected. The headphone thing, like, disconnected from my phone somehow. My phone's still in my hand. Beats fell off. And I told y'all, I think some change fell off my body. <laughs> 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 Listen, I think it was mad as shit going to the vending machine that day. I was, I Listen, I'm so fucking dark. I'm going to lay on the ground and just feel like... <laughs> But then it also kind of puts 
like it sucks because like one I can't really change the penis of myself like size my penis mm-hmm. I can try to change on how we go about pleasing you and getting you to where you want to but it's just like I kind of feel too in you know certain ways that the wife is just not being patient with him or not even trying to work like she's blaming it, like blaming her um dissatisfaction on his size of his penis just period like it's him only and trust me when I tell you I've had all size penises <laughs> and I'll and I've said this before even with you know my big dick ex who I'm dating now who I <laughs> Who I used to say, I hated sex with him. I hate, I absolutely, and he listens to the show. I absolutely hated having sex with him back in the day because his penis was girthy and lengthy. It was huge. It, I mean, it is huge. Not was, it's still huge. And I was just like, Ugh, this shit feels like rape all the time. And now I'm just taking it. Shit just sliding like nobody's business. He's still the biggest dick ever. And I'm just like, this is great. You know what I mean? Like, and I feel like it just changes sometimes. Like, and even with small penis, I've had very small karate clips. Listen mm-hmm. to that episode of me bumping crystals and having great, you know, orgasms and stuff like that. Yeah. I think that really sucks. This can't be a a, a just now new situation. No, after it's twenty years. No, now, and, right? it, and it's not. And the thing is, you pray that it would give. Like, I think. She's a bitch. <laughs> like, not like that. Like, not, she, that is, I, I, I don't know. But my <laughs> thing is, like, what's her <sighs> intent behind, like, being so hurtful and evil? Like, I fucking hate people like that. And <laughs> let's cheat on that bitch. No. Let's jump her. That's <laughs> right. No, no. <laughs> no, but you know what? Because I think about the time when I was having, me and my ex, when we were together and, and living together, and his sex was just horrible. And... The way that I handled that is, well, I didn't handle it at first. I just kind of dealt with it like she did. Like like your wife is doing, like she didn't really mention it until you asked her, but he had to catch me masturbating after we had sex for it to be a discussion. But after that, I don't think I tried to make him feel bad because, of course, I was still, like, I was sneaking masturbate after we had sex. Um, so I was trying not to, you know, inform him that the sex was horrible. But eventually we were just like, okay, it's, it is a conversation that we're going to have, especially if we live together right now. And, all right, listen, I'm not really enjoying the sex, but I'm not, I remember saying, like, I, I don't come at all, ever. Um, and I said, it may be you, maybe me, I don't know. But, you know, I know <laughs> at the time I was like, I, I mess very like, so I, I just know what I like now. And I was like, but I can teach you. You know what I like, but that nigga didn't listen. So after that, I'm just like, all right, like I, we didn't have a discussion on like, we didn't have that follow up discussion like he was trying to have. Mm-hmm. But had we like that, I think that's where I lost my patience because he just wasn't listening or he wasn't even trying to, you know, put in the effort like you are, Maxwell. So my patience was just gone, and and it's, but I didn't put him down for that. I'm just like, you know what, fuck out of here. Like like in my mind, I'm just like, you know what, it's cool. This nigga don't listen. He's a little retarded. <laughs> Let me just go rub my pussy dry. And then that's just how that went. But I think being married and going into a situation where you... Because sex is a, a, is a dominant force in your relationship. Um, going in and, and back then not feeling that way. And then not trying to find... Like, I don't understand like why she wouldn't try to find ways on her own on how to maybe introduce new stuff to the bedroom or anything like that if she felt like it was lacking. You just so happen to be asking these questions because you listen to sex with strangers and just like, oh, let's, you know, let's have some conversation about it. You think you find all of these years and just to find out in your mid-30s after y'all have been together for 20 years right. that she ain't liking your dick? And that's, that's, this, this is really, this, I'm having a little case of uh, Flashback. PTSD right now. Um, just because it's a, it's a it's a terrible terrible thing when people hold stuff in you hold something you hold resentment in basically because that's what it sounds like she has you hold resentment in um, meanwhile the other person has no fucking clue 
that this yeah, is an now, issue. Yup, and, and the thing is now, like you going back to every time y'all like thinking about every time you had sex, like damn, I was really enjoying that. She wasn't enjoying that the whole time. Right. Like, and, the, and then now you go and you go into the next time you're trying to have sex and you can't even think straight. Like she not even enjoying. It. And the, and the fact that I can just tell from the way he wrote the story, um, she's a she's a horrible communicator. Uh, horrible. Yeah. And that brings me PTSD as well. Because <laughs> no, she, <laughs> but but the way you said it brings me PTSD. But seriously, like, how are you? You're in a relationship with a guy for for twenty years, and on on year twenty, this is our conversation now. How many you ma- have you married me? How many and, and have you seen to like compare it to? Like, like not saying like that, but. I no, don't know. I mean, like how, like, how but, are you comparing it to like how is it suddenly now? But if you married me, right? If you married me, why are we just now having this conversation? And why the fuck did I have to bring it up? Why did I have to bring this up? Why, why are you why are we not communicating well enough for you to have said this before I put a ring on it? And the thing about that right. was he was just trying to like let's let's see what other shit we can get into. Maxwell was probably trying to see if she could get get his bo- like booty massage like that. I'm just, I'm just joking. Like, <laughs> like no, but I'm, I'm pretty sure, like no. he, I'm pretty sure he, he was probably trying to find different ways to spice it up. Again, y'all should have given for a long time, and they just like, wait, what? We gotta, we actually gotta start from. And the fact that this, but the this nigga really loves this this person. person. <laughs> Cause I'm, I'm, I don't wanna. <laughs> <laughs> we, don't, we don't mean anything. No, yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> I don't like her. No, I'm not talking. This, I mean, not talking. You know, you know, you know, you know, you know how me and Juice, me and Juice get personal. Yeah. About everybody. Like, when we feel like somebody did you wrong. We just like fuck you. Well, like, like her. This nigga went to the lengths of he put on manufactured dicks. To try to appease her, yeah. and and she has an attitude because you should that you shouldn't have to put on a fake shit. What? And what nigga you know gonna go to a store and buy a extra dick inch? Bitch, that don't even. That was effort on a different level. And like, what do you like? What? Like, I feel what? like her attitude and her disposition about the whole situation is changed because it's clearly somebody. Somebody either has her attention or had her attention that's making her feel like that towards him. I'm sorry, but she cheating on you, King. She bad.